change everything that's not a sine and cosine into a sine and cosine. So I'm going to leave sine. Ooh. PowerPoint. Uh. PowerPoint. Okay, there. okay, there we go. Sine squared theta. We're going to leave that alone. Right? Secant is not a sine or a cosine. So I'm going to go I'm going to look for secant and I'm going to go to my trig identities, right? And I'm going to find secant. And I'm going to notice that secant is 1 over cosine. Great. So now I'm going to go back to my problem. And instead of secant, I'm going to write 1 over cosine. OK? Then we're going to move on to the next part, which is cosecant. And I'm going to look at my trig identities. And I'm going to find a cosecant. I'm going to notice that it's 1 over sine. So, time that when you are doing identities. Okay? So if I put all those things together, right? Because let's pretend like this is over 1, sine squared theta over 1, right? I'm going to put all of those things together. So on top, I'm going to get sine squared theta times 1 times 1, which is still sine squared theta on top. On the bottom, we're going to have 1 times cosine times sine. So on the bottom, we're going to have cosine theta times sine theta. Now, notice that on the top, I have a sine squared, right? And on the bottom, I have just a sine. If I had x squared on top of x, one of those x's would cancel out, right? the x on the bottom. If I have x squared on top and x on the bottom, this is going to equal just x over 1. or, or just, It's going to be cosine theta. And so I'm looking at this, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if this is something. And I would look at my trig identities, and I would be like, oh my goodness. I see a sine over a cosine. What does that equal? Oh my goodness. That equals tangent. Oh, I don't need the G. <laughs> that equals tangent theta. So this is my answer. Bada bing, 